Are you looking for a mechanical keyboard that's hot swappable but you don't have the money? Well, in this video, we're reviewing the Techware Phantom, a hot swappable mechanical keyboard that sits right under $50. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me already, I'm Betty and this is Switch and Click. Here we dive really deep into mechanical keyboards and provide straightforward and honest mechanical keyboard reviews for you guys. So let's jump into this review of the Techware Phantom right now. All right, straight out of the box, it looks pretty good. We have a little brand card. We have some red linear switches, a switch puller, and then we have the keyboard itself with a non-detachable USB cable. And on the back, we have the keycap puller. So it's a pretty good impression straight out of the box. I've been typing on this for the past couple of days. And to be honest, it's one of my favorites out of all of the budget keyboards that, we're, that we've reviewed so far out of the 10 that we've reviewed so far. And if you're interested in watching any of those reviews, I'll link a playlist here as well as down below in the description box. This is one of our top three, which we'll be doing a video real soon reviewing uh, which ones are our favorites and why and if you should get them or not But if you're interested in something hot swappable and you're pretty new to mechanical keyboards and switches And you're not sure what switch you want yet, then this one is perfect. It sits right at $48.99 is what we got it for We'll link it on Amazon down below if you're interested in checking it out or purchasing it for yourself but we just had a really good experience with this. One of the main things is that the stabilizers are really nice. We'll be doing a complete typing test at the end of this video, so, so stay tuned for that. But it's great, it's beautiful, it's quiet. So on this, we have red Otamu switches and they give you those but to be honest you can replace them with whatever you like they do come with four extra switches in case one of your switches is not working when replacing some of these switches i've noticed that it's really hard to get the switches out of their plates they are plate mounted switches so you use the switch puller you dig it underneath and then just pull but it takes a lot of force compared to other hot swappable keyboards that I've worked with. All right, so as you can see, it's a compact TKL 10 keyless mechanical keyboard. It's got full RGB lighting that we'll be going over later as well. And then this one comes with red linear switches. You have the option of red, blue, or brown, depending on what you like. Here we see that it has a nice floating keycap style design on the back we have some wire routing systems here here or up we have kickstands four nice rubber feet there's no slippage at all get that keycap puller and it's pretty straightforward it's a nice keyboard we'll look at the legends but they are fairly simple no complaints there at all. They're very similar to other keyboards that we've reviewed. It has ABS plastic keycaps, but you can replace these for a cheap set of PBT keycaps for about $30. All right, it's got a full ABS plastic case and a gunmetal back plate, so it does have a little heft to it pretty sturdy there's no flex at all one of the really nice things about this one compared to the other ones is that when you type there's no ringing or pinging sound 
every key press that you do. It also helps that it's linear though, so it does have less noise. But we have reviewed other linear switch keyboards and their ringing is insane. So this one definitely tops the charts for that. The Legends are a little bit more gamery uh, compared to ones that we've reviewed before like the Keysound Magic Force, the Velocifier TKL or the Drop Control. Those are much more simpler and can be used pretty much anywhere but the, this looks like you know you're, you're the average gamer you're gonna use it for that but a bright side is that it doesn't have the WASD arrows like some of the other ones that we've reviewed and I'm really not a big fan of that at all. Don't tell anybody. Alright, it's got full RGB lighting and you can pick pretty much any color easily by pressing, pressing FN and the dash key and then it'll show all the colors and you pick one to select that color. You can go over the color modes too on the keyboard itself but you can also do it on the firmware that will link down below. I downloaded the firmware and it doesn't work on my computer for some reason like it just I installed it but every time I tried opening it it didn't open so I guess that's, that would be one of the downsides is that the firmware might not have worked. I have a Windows 10 computer and it's a little bit old but it is updated so I'm not sure why that wouldn't be working. All right, and if you're using the manual itself it's very easy to change color settings. So the manual has different various lighting modes so to change lighting modes you're gonna press FN and either insert, home, page up, page down, delete, or end and each one has three different effects and you can just cycle through those and click whichever color that you want using what we talked about before. It does have secondary media keys on the function row. We have my computer, Internet Explorer, that's a downside because you got Internet Explorer right on your keyboard. I'm sure no one uses Internet Explorer anymore so that looks a little bit jank. You got calculator, media player, reverse, forward, play, pause, stop, volume mute, volume down, volume up, and then you can do, you can change your LED lighting direction or the frequency or the brightness using those other keys. And then some other features, it's got Windows Lock and it also has full 87 key anti-ghosting and N key rollover. I'm sure at this point we're so used to hearing that. It's pretty much the same for most mechanical keyboards that we've seen. Some of them only have like six key rollover, but how often are you gonna be using more than six keys at a time, right? All right, as we've said before, there's no ringing when we're typing. The stabilizers are very decent, cherry style stabilizers, not usual. Co-Star stabilizers looks pretty decent there and you can see that they're plate mounted and it also looks like there's some pre-installed lube already on the stabilizers which is probably why they sound pretty decent compared to others that's a bonus but if it's not lubed already you can always buy some dielectric grease a paintbrush lube them yourself and because it's hot swappable, you can just take all the keycaps off, take all the switches off, take apart the keyboard, and then mod your stabilizers if you want. You can band-aid, clip, lube them. We did this before in a video, and I'll link you to the top five mistakes that we did. It took us over four hours to do it, and it really shouldn't. So don't make the same mistakes we did. All right, another thing, if you look here, is that it's got a very natural typing incline already. I like my keyboards flat on the table like this without the kickstands out and I think this is just such a great angle to type at. You just float your hands on top like a magical fairy and it's it's great. Honestly, we're just super impressed by this keyboard. It's so hard saying any negative things about it. It's under $50, it's hot swappable, it's quiet, it's not ringy. The only downside is this but I think this might be nitpicky on our end we just don't enjoy non-detachable cables it just makes it less portable 
like it's a compact keyboard you can toss this side in your backpack but this this is a little bit annoying to work with and one of the top benefits on this one versus other ones is that it's got a cap for your USB port look at that a cap pretty cool and then of course we have the velcro piece that wraps around the cable too it is a fully braided cable doesn't have a ton of kinks except when you first get it out then you know it's stuck to its cable shape but you can straighten that out pretty easily but yeah we highly 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 recommend this hot swappable tankyless compact mechanical keyboard for just under fifty dollars to anybody that is new to mechanical keyboards or maybe not even new it may be this is your second or third mechanical keyboard and you just want to try a whole ton of different switches if you're interested in any different switches we have our kale switch test video where we go over 24 different switches and their sounds and how they feel and if you're interested you can buy that and just test them we like hot swappable because we like testing soldering and stuff is just not our jam just yet but it might be we don't know yet but it's super high quality switches are easy to swap out and push in when they break or if one's not working or if you want to try a blue instead of a red or a box white you know it's really up to you it's high quality like Otomu switches aren't the best but they're not the worst either and if you don't like them you can always swap them out I'm just super impressed about the stabilizers and then branding is pretty much non-existent on this keyboard you like can barely even tell the only branding it has is on the very back of the keyboard right there there's nothing on the front or the sides or the back oh wait never mind branding is right there it was so subtle I couldn't even see it phantom on the top left and to be honest it looks clean so no complaints there all right let's jump into the typing test Okay, question of the day is we're going to be starting a TKL Friday series soon where we review a different tankyless mechanical keyboard every single Friday. What TKL keyboards would you like to see on the list? Currently we have a large list of about 32 keyboards on there right now, but leave your comment down below and suggest what we should get and review. Other than that, if you really like this video, press that like button. Click here for more budget mechanical keyboards and here for um, our series on hot swappable mechanical keyboards. And we're going to try and venture out into different ones in the future. But subscribe here if you want to. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.